What's up, Soyo brothers and Soyo sisters? Today, we're going to do a banana harvest video. <laughs> For those who have seen some of my previous videos, y'all know about this particular bunch. This is a bunch that put out in the beginning of spring. All right, because the minimum amount of leaves that came out before the bunch took a very long time for these bananas to get where they needed to be. All right, if you can see, they have pretty good pulp inside them now, but they're not yellow, all right? Preferably, I like to leave them on there until they start turning yellow. But the weather is starting to change, and it's probably about the best they're going to get. So, I'm going to show you how I actually harvest my bananas. Alright, so, what we're going to do, simply, stop. Okay? Try not to damage your elephant ears. <laughs> Here we go. Small head of bananas, okay? And all we would have to do with these is hang them up, give them a couple of days, and they'll go ahead and ripen. Or I could just cut some hands off, put it in a bag or a container with a piece of ripe fruit, and within a day or two, they'll turn yellow and be ready to eat. All right? So, now that we got that down, this particular stalk is no longer useful to us because it will not produce again. All right, so what will happen is, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this one down pretty low and then the rest of these plants will feed off of that plant and make them stronger, give me a bigger bunch for next year. So I'm gonna go down maybe two feet and I'm gonna chop. That simple, all right? And all you do is take this particular stock, chop it up, throw it down at the bottom, and the plants will feed off it also. All right, so when when the plants get to eat, you get to eat, we all good. And as you can see, it is starting to turn yellow on the top. So they were just about there. Okay. They didn't get as plump as I would like them to be, um, but I didn't expect them to either, but I just wanted to be able to eat them. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are just going to attach a rope to the bottom. And of course, because as the size of this particular rack of bananas, it don't take much to hold. And you just wanna tie the rope. I'll show you what we're gonna do with them, okay? All right, guys, um, you just simply after you tie your bananas on, get a loop, find you a nice, warm, not hot spot, semi cool, and you just hang them. And within a couple to a few days, your bananas will ripen. All right? So you 
may ask why I got them upside down. The way the bananas actually form, they will lay this away as they as they um start to ripen. You turn them the other way, they'll go downward and possibly start to peel and fall off. So this is the best way to actually hang them. And within a day or two, you'll see them starting to ripen, you can cut them off and begin to eat them. All right, that's the one way to do it. And another way is to simply just take a hand of fruit and put them in a bowl or a bag and with a piece of ripe fruit. And within a day or two, you'll be ready to eat them. Okay? So that's all we got for now. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for more videos. Thank you.